Hey everyone, welcome to Nerding IO. I'm JD, and today what we're going to go through is Claude Connectors. So we're going to actually look at how you can leverage this new feature to launch desktop applications, pull in like different third parties like Stripe or Google, and then also how you can actually build your own MCP to connect to a Claude Connector. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to take a look at Claude Connectors. And what this is, is a basically another way to leverage MCPs or connect to different uh, applications um, or web services. And so what I found super interesting about this is when I was going through this grep uh, video that I did a few weeks ago, I can't use this URL in the Claude uh, MCP configuration. And so what I mean by that is if we go over to Claude and we get to our settings and we take a look at our developer and I try and edit this config, when I come in here and I save this URL, this piece, it's actually going to error. So if I go ahead and restart that, we'll see this is breaking. Uh, it's not allowed to do the grep commands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to show you how you can actually use it and why this is so important. So when we come in here, let's just restart. When we come in here and go to Claude, basically we can do our settings again. And now we have this thing called connectors. So we can see our local MCPs. We can see some other tools that we, we've kind of already always seen, right? We've always been able to connect to Google Drive and to our Gmail and Google Calendar. But what's new is we kind of have the ability to browse co connectors and then add a custom connector. So if we brought, like, uh, look at the connectors that are available, we have things like Stripe, um, and then also we have things like Chrome. So now we can actually have Claude go out and actually hit Chrome. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at that. And then we're also going to add our own connectors. So if I want to add the one that I just had, so like grab. Now I can actually hit this URL because it's just going out and hitting the URL. So now I actually have a custom grep tool configured, which is the one that I had last time, or I did in my other video. And let's go ahead and uh, test out Chrome. So if I say use Chrome, it'll actually launch this uh, application directly from the browser. So now we can just go ahead and connect it. It's pulling that. We can come back to Claude. Now it's going to go and look and get the content from that page. We're going to keep saying allow. And it's going to pull information back and then tell me what the Vibe Coding Retreat is. Oh, well, it's supposed to, but it, <laughs> it looks like it got stuck. So what it should do is actually pull this information back, just like Puppeteer does, uh, in order to get things working. Cool. So when it went out and searched, it actually pulled back the information and was able to do the analysis. Real quick, if you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps more than you know. Also, please check out Vibe Coding Retreat. It's where I do additional training. With that, let's get back to it. Now what I want to do is I actually want to go back and I want to look at the grep uh, service. So if I go to settings and I still have my connector, I can actually go into a new chat and I can say use. You can actually look at the tools too. So right now we know we have this grep search GitHub. So we'll just say use grep. Uh, and we can turn all these off and on, right? Like if we want, uh, which is nice. So like if we want to come in here and disable Chrome, now we have less tools that we have to be concerned about. So if I say grep, use grep tool, it should pull back information. And it should actually use the grep MCP tool. Cool. So now it's actually going out and it's using that tool that we want and it'll actually go search grip. 
GitHub and try and get more information about the uh, MCP TypeScript SDK. But what's even cooler about all of this is that now that I'm able to have HTTP MCP uh, inf like information being pulled back into context, I'm just going to let this run. I can actually build my own MCPs and actually display that information back into Claude the same way. So I don't have to go through the hassle of telling people, hey, uh, go into the Claude settings and do the developer and then go edit your config and expect them to understand JSON. A lot of people um, don't have the need to understand that technical knowledge. So to, to bridge that barrier, now you can actually take your custom MCPs and add them as a custom connector. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to take an MCP server that I built in a, the MCP series that I have, which is this SSE example. I've already gone through and like built out an MCP uh, endpoint. And so I deployed all that to render. You can use any kind of deployment, but this is the one that I use. So I can just grab this MCP example and I can put this back into Claude code. And so all I'm gonna do is come in here to settings, go to connectors, go down to add custom. I'm gonna say MCP example. I'm gonna paste that in. I also need the slash MCP. I need this endpoint because this is specifically uh, how I can hit this endpoint here. I can also do advanced settings. So if I need to set up custom authentication, so if I want to set log in with Twitter, log in with Google, log in with my own uh, OAuth or something related to Superbase, I can do that. But this is the most important part is the fact that I can now just hit an HTTP with that connector. Now you can see it's already here. I can configure it. It's pulling in my tools. But check this out. I also went ahead and I had made resources. So I made prompts and resources. The only thing that's missing from here is that I also made resource templates, which allows you to make dynamic uh, calling of resources. But what's cool is I can pull in all my documentation for this MCP if I want to. I just use a uh, LLM full text for that. Or can have prompts that go along with this MCP so I can chain these things together. And what's super cool about all of that for me is that I've been waiting a long time for to be able to use resources and prompts because I think MCP goes way farther than just tools. And what you can do is you can come in here and just like you would normally do with your tools, when you're doing the uh, add a like image or resource, you can now add files. So these files are actually coming from my server. I can do text, I can do image, I can do audio. Any one of these can come through and I can have it processed through Claude code or through Claude. I've been using a lot of Claude code. Um, and so now what I could do is I could ask about the documentation from here I can also add a prompt if I want. And so I could say search documentation topic being, uh, I don't know, website information, and we'll just say info. And it'll add the prompt. And so now I can see what I expect that prompt to show me. It's gonna look for additional resources. It's gonna find information in our documentation. It probably won't find these resources because they're dynamic, but the fact is, is I'm now able to chain all of my Claude information from text, which is my documentation here, to even prompts into my context window. And let's just ask a question about I-75 corridor.
And so now as it's going through, it's again given all the documentation that it needs in order for me to have this context. So a great way to think about this is you can actually have MCP servers for yourself that would pull in your notes, that would pull in your documentation, that would allow you to access maybe different types of uh, tweets or whatever. Your personas could live inside of an MCP file or on, on an MCP, and you can actually pull that directly into your Claude. All right, that's it for us today. What we went through was Claude connectors, how you can leverage different desktop environment applications, as well as use things like Google Drive, as well as build your own MCP server with a Claude connector so that you can actually hit that route and pull in all the information, including resources and prompts. With that, happy nerding.